Jesus in Jammies! We are so glad that you're here with us today. We have a very, very, very cool and true story for you. Are you ready to listen to it? This is the story of three boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Those were funny names, weren't they? Well, these three boys were so brave. They were working for a king that was a little bit crazy. He really liked himself a lot. So he decided he was going to build a statue so, so, so big of himself so that everybody could see him. Oh, would you like to have a statue with your face on it that is super big? That would, no. be, that would be weird. That would be weird. I think so, too. So he said, not just that he was going to put this statue in the middle of a plaza for everybody to see, but he also decided that every single person that lived in his kingdom should bow down, which means get on their knees and pray to him. That's crazy. We only pray to God. Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, we cannot pray to, to you. You are just a person. We should only pray to God. So the king had a rule and he said, if you don't bow down and pray to my statue, then I'm going to throw you into a fiery furnace. It was like a big, big, big oven full of flames. So they will get all burned up. Was it, it like a volcano? It was worse than a volcano. It was horrible. So they were scared, but they knew what was right. So the king said, okay, everybody, it's time to pray to me. And the three of them stood up and they said, sorry, king. And I know that you're going to have to throw us into this fire furnace, but we cannot pray to you. We can only pray to God. Isn't that a great story? Oh, I get it. You have to do the right thing even when no one else is. Exactly. There are so many times that we don't feel like doing the right thing. Or we see other people not listening to mom and dad, and we feel like we shouldn't listen to mom and dad either. Or sometimes some people are like, well, I'm just going to eat all of this candy and then don't have my dinner. And mom and daddy are not going to be happy because they want you to eat dinner instead of the candy, don't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs> but they knew that even if everybody else around them was doing what they were not supposed to do, they had to be brave and say, no, the only God that I'm going to pray to is our God. And I know that it's not always easy, but doing what is right, even when nobody else is doing it, is the best way to live. Because then God blesses us for being obedient and for doing the things that we are supposed to. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's a cool story. What do you think, Elsie? Um, well, I got to tell you something. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. People aren't doing the right thing, and those people, and the other people are the other, the persons that are not doing the right thing will start doing the right thing. Exactly, that is a great point, Kelsey. When our friends and our family are not doing the right thing, but we are, we are a good example, and others might see the good things that we do and want to be like us and do the right things too. So it is so important for us to do what's right, even when nobody else is doing it. Because you never know who you're going to inspire. And they might do it the, right, the right thing just because you did it first. That's awesome. It really is. So I will see you on the next one. But make sure that this week you do what is right, even if nobody else is.